Hey guys, it's uh, Westy here. Um, look, I'm just gonna. I was halfway through this job of doing these, uh, hanging some new or fitting some new uh, door assemblies, and um, I thought, hang on, how do you do the capture part? So um, I thought I'd show you guys how to do it. Um, basically, well, with with the hole, pretty easy to sort that one out. Usually, you get a template with your uh, in, in, with instructions inside, but if not. Usually you run um, 850, uh, 890mm up the door to this, and that's the centre of your um, hole. So you basically mark that on the outside, on the edge of the door, and then square it off, run your square around, and then I measure 70mm and then mark again, and that's where your hole goes. And for, in this case, um, it's a 54mm hole saw and a 25mm hole saw through the centre through the edge like this. I'll just show you. Okay, I've bought a 25mm hole through there and I've also chiselled out the um, I've routed out the slot for the um, latch assembly. Um, you can chisel it by hand, but I just, uh, one of my mates, good mate Tim, he's uh, kindly came around and gave us a bit of a hand and showed me a cool little trick with a router. Uh, you measure the depth and then you can route out pretty close to, to the edge and then chisel just the last little bits out in the corners. Um, with these old doors, you do get a bit of breakage occasionally, so I'll have to put a little bit of bog in there to fill that out. But that's, that's quite normal. Okay, so what we're going to try and demonstrate here, once I've actually got this all set up for you, is <clears throat> when we put the deer, we're going to measure the the door striker on the wall on the door here, because there's nothing in this the the old ones here still. Um, I've got to take that off eventually and bog it up and paint it. Um, so what we do is we're going to actually fit the um, assembly the latch assembly in, into the door and mark out where our um, plate's going to sit and then we'll go from there. Yeah so basically to set this up um, if you haven't got any doors, door handles in place at all you basically measure 890mm from the bottom of the door not on the ground, bottom of the door itself uh, in this case I've done 885 around the board so you basically get to your 885 Put a mark on the door here like I have here, get your square, run your square, mark a line across, measure the distance across the door, in this case it's 40, so scribe another mark at 20 and that's your halfway point, that's your centre line for drilling your 25mm hole. And when you do this line here, just mark a little bit on the on the next edge, so that on this face here, and then you can square it up, line it up and then scribe across and then mark 70mm in this case um, and I'll put a 70mm centre line and that's where your 54mm hole drill goes. When you open up your case you have a template as well if you wanted to do that method you basically put this template with the that edge there on the door like so. You've just got to make sure it's square because if you have it off um, it's going to make everything skew with. So I like to measure it, square it off and square it so then you know 100% sure that you've got the lines square with each other and it's going to be perpendicular. Okay, so um, yeah, basically you, you get a pair of scissors and open up this case. Um, I'll just do that briefly. And then you open it up um, and tip out the contents and you've got the, the latch assembly here it's got a protective case on the outside for the stainless leave that on to the last minute got a set of instructions a little little baggie of bolts and then your latch assemblies okay so to pull these apart you have to pull one side apart so what you do is you open up your little case of bolts and there's a little funny looking key thing in here, just flick that out 
don't drop all your bolts as I just did and all you do is there's a little hole just there so just push tension on it like that push down with your finger and thumb and then push it in on an angle like so and you'll feel it detent in when it does load it up and then pull it out and out it pops and then what you do to get this flash um, polished alloy cover off is um, you get a couple of screwdrivers which I'll just get in a minute uh, where are they and what you do is there's a little piece there with a, a gap in it and it's got like a little tang on it well you get a screwdriver and you carefully twist it in there to get it to pop and then you can pop it off I'll just show you that in a moment okay so I've got a, got a couple of screwdrivers here a, f a fat flat blade, blade and a skinny flat blade about three and a half mil and a five mil or six mil so what you do is there's a little little tang there right there and all you do is you put your screwdriver in there like so twist it and it pops off the whole plate comes away and then you can bolt it all together on your door so to put that together on your door what you need to do is I'll open this up so that you can see it and zoom in a little bit for you okay so now what you do is you put your latch in and that latch obviously goes on this side not that, not that way around so that way because the door shuts and it pushes it shut like so so that goes in here like so and you may have to um, etch out a little bit to get it to uh, with, a, with a chisel to get it to um, the right depth after you've done or if, you, if you're chiseling it out you've got to be careful you've got to just do it you know a bit at a time but um, your mate Tim showed me this method with the router and it's really quite good so you, what you do is you basically measure this height here there to there that, that face to the, to the top face this face there on that side and you know measure that distance there really effectively and then drop your router um, just a fraction lower than that so you can scrape a little bit out if you have to but if you feel uncomfortable with it just route it out and then you put it in like so and then what we do once we've got that located is you get your door and a pencil and I'll spin around so you can see and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just not close the door but push the door up against it make sure it's all um, located and put a mark just on top and bottom of the catch Okay, so that mark you put you put two marks on the door. I'll just show you that brief quickly. Where are they? There. Those two little marks there that I put in the door. Basically, you carry them across to this face here, off those marks, and that gives you where your plate's going to go. Now what you do to measure to, to get your door so that it shuts and doesn't rattle when you shut it is you put your assembly into the door make sure it's secured properly oh, you don't have to screw it in but just make sure it's positioned correctly and centered and then take the, the striker plate flip it upside down so that because normally when it's in the door frame itself it's going to be like that anyway like so so what we do 